Hey guys, what's up? This is Marshall Simon here. I just want to say um, to all my subscribers and viewers, uh, Happy New Year. And um, I hope your Christmas and everything went well. And if, if not, I understand. So, yeah, today I'm making a video about um, one of the most excellent gifts I have ever got in my entire life. Ladies and gentlemen, it's number one on Amazon, HMV, Best Buy, Future Shop, Canada. I got one of the greatest superstars in WWE history. This guy was my favorite. I grew up in his genre because, um, believe it or not, in the 90s, the WCW was giving away a lot of their old superstars. To the WWE because guess who they took it's like let's say the NHL trade you know how you dealt players to the states cuz you know um for example it's like saying ladies and gentlemen Mark Messier got traded to the New York Rangers from the Edmonton Oilers so it's like you know that's how WCW and WWE was back in the heyday so I'll tell you who um, WWE got from the WCW when Hulk Hogan, Eddie Leslie, who was Brutus the Barber Beefcake, The Disciple, uh, Scott Hall, Kevin Nash, The Macho Man, Randy Savage, ooh yeah, uh, The Hot Rod, Rowdy Roddy Piper, and I believe they got, oh, who the heck, oh, Brian Crush Adams, the late Brian Adams, a.k.a. Crush. So, in exchange, we got guys like the man they called Vader, uh, Leon White, really big guy, 450 pounds. We got uh, Brian Pillman, one of the Hollywood Blondes, along with, oh, I believe... What's his face? Uh, oh, Psycho Sid Vicious, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and oh, Gold Dust. Yeah, and believe it or not, the game Triple H, along with Jim Ross, and uh, who was another WCW? Oh, Chris Jericho and The Big Show. So, ladies and gentlemen, here's my best Christmas gift ever it is Stone Cold Steve Austin Stone Cold Steve Austin the bottom line on the most popular superstar of all time his apex Stone Cold Steve Austin was pop culture phenomenon the big WWE superstar in the history of sports entertainment despite battling the rejections of being fired and career threatening in injuries Austin perverted Preserved and vault to the top of his profession. Now fans can relieve the epic story of the Texas rattlesnake with Stone Cold Steve Austin filed with a new, never before seen, insightful interviews with Stone Cold Steve Austin as well as his biggest rivals, including Vincent Kennedy McMahon Jr., Bret the Hitman Hart. The Heartbreak Kid Shawn Michaels, The Game Triple H, Chris Jericho, Christian, Edge, Mick Foley, and Jim Ross, I believe. Most memorable moments and matches and provides a complete career retrospective on the man who revolutionized the WWE. And I got 10 hours, and here he is with... Um, with his shirt, broken skull, getting arrested in Long Island, and Mr. McMahon, and that's Austin. So, disc one, the biography is amazing. You know, you get to learn about the Texas Rattlesnake, like football, wrestling, rookie of the year from Hollywood, California. It was from Colonel Parker, who was WCW. He was a real dirty, rotten snake with the cowboy hat who split up the blondes, and then, you know, Austin's best friend in the world was the late Brian Pillman and 
I hope Brian Pillman does go into the WWE Hall of Fame. You know, you're a good guy, and you know, it's too bad your career got cut too short and you passed away, unfortunately. Because I was in high school, ladies and gentlemen, when Brian Pillman passed away, and I was in grade 11 when Austin was in that uh, street fight match with uh, Brett the Hitman Hart. Oh man, there was a hell of a lot of blood. It's like, ugh. And he really did get dizzy. And um, I was more of a WWE fan than a WCW because, you know, Austin 316 started whipping the NWO's ass. Because when I saw, when I watched WrestleMania 13, guess what, ladies and gentlemen? The WWE Universe says NWO sucks, WCW sucks, Goldberg sucks, and believe it or not, Eric Bischoff sucks. He did. So, on here, um, I'll tell you what matches I have that I love. I have Stunning Steve Austin versus the late Chris Adams, who's from ECW and WCW. He was in the WWE for a short period of time, and that was... Uh, Sean Waltman, a.k.a. X-Pac slash the 123 Kid. That was his brother-in-law, I think. I'm not sure. It's either Chris Adams or Just Incredible. I'm sorry. Please tell me. Anyways, uh, Austin teamed up with the Nature Boy, Ric Flair. And he had some really good memorable matches with WWE Hall of Famer, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat was his all-time favorite wrestler because of, you know, look at the guy. Ricky was my favorite. I loved him and Tito Santana, and, you know, and people have their own opinions. And um, and I'll tell you, Disc 4, there's a lot of good, uh, you know, uh, vintage collections. Like, you know, his uh, promos, like Austin 316 just whipped your ass when he won King of the Ring in 1996. That was awesome. And I believe I have one, two... How many WWE title matches? I have one, two, three, four, five WWE title matches, which I love. And then, and I don't know what they put on the Blu ray, so that's okay. And uh, they put uh, that uh, WrestleMania. 25th anniversary when he saluted the Texas fans. I have that on WrestleMania 25, so it's okay. I don't need it on that. And um, for all you Austin fans, please, you better buy this DVD collection because now you get to learn about, um, you know, the real truth. And this is the guy who saved the WWE because that's why I'm a big WWE fan today. And he, and I'm hearing rumors they're going to do another, uh, Spoiler alert, uh, The Greatest Rivals Part 2, this time, The Rock versus Stone Cold Steve Austin, and I can't wait for that, and, um, I'm looking forward to the Royal Rumble, and for all you Canadian fans, rumor has it, um, I hear, uh, bragging rights might be coming to Toronto, Ontario, Canada in June over at the Air Canada Centre. That's the venue home of the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Raptors. And Toronto, Ontario is so good to the WWE because we've already had WrestleMania 6, WrestleMania 18. And you know, someday, trust me Toronto, you will get WrestleMania back. And um, I gotta find a way and I will get some cheap flights and uh, you know, stay in the hostel just to watch it and then you know, I'm ready, and um, this is Simon here saying, so long, everybody. Thank you for watching.